Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to look at into Mongo's queries, which is basically used to provide a several static helper function for period operation like create, remove, update, and delete. Each of these functions return a Mongo's query object. So there are several types of functions available here, like uh, delete many, delete one, find, find by ID, find by ID and delete, find by ID and remove find one, update many, replace one, find one and remove, find one and replace, and many more. So, basically, Mongo's query can be executed one or two ways. Basically, it, it, it can be executed in two ways. One by using callback function as we have discussed earlier. And one another method is by using then function. So callback functions uh, actually uh, execute asynchronously and uh, after execution of the query it passes result to the callback function. So it it uh, it have uh, two parameters first one is error and second one is data. So uh, we have discussed it earlier. So we are going to discuss five points in this video like how to execute queries queries are not promises a reference to the other document which is basically uh, populations as we have seen earlier data streaming and aggregation so now let's get started so here i have the older code as we have discussed in the previous video so i'm going to remove unused code so I'm not going to use a student address here. We are not going to use vcrypt. Delete this one as well. Delete, delete this one. I think delete rest of the part. Accept a student model. So what we are going to do in this video is we are going to create some a student related fields like name of the student then age of the student i'm just going to take parameter as a string it can be number or anything then a standard a standard it's a string then class so you can directly take class because class is uh, available in uh, javascript so you just have to put one underscore and it should be a string so now let's write some data insert data into our database so i think i already have some data let's see So I already have three to four uh, results. So let's first remove this. I'm going to use new one. So let's remove this result. Now I already have created some of the results here. Copy this and paste it here. Now insert this. So here I have created just a uh, uh, array of students. So first a student have name as a is eighteen, a student twelfth, eight point nine did, and uh, rest are the same. Like name is a standard and grade. So actually, not this one. Take it as grade. So now insert this into our database. So to do that, just write a student dot insert many because we are going to store many uh, object to our database and past object name and it will take two parameter function error and result. Okay. 
it will take it will execute it asynchronously and pass the result to the this callback function which in the it has some error then throw that error else console log result so basically you just have to write it after creation of the model so now let's execute this code so now zoom a bit so here as you have you can see this uh, insert data into our database so name as a this one this one so now what we are going to do here is first we are going to see how to write executing that means how to execute uh, queries so there are two ways to execute queries the first one is by using json format and second one is by using query builder so now let's comment this so we are going to first write it using json so let's write a student dot we are going to find the student uh, name so with some rest restrictions so a student name you can put regular expression here by using C everything inside this slash and bring it as a so if you write this so as you can see here this is as a with a small a and here i am just writing capital a so it won't find anything to avoid case sensitive we just write i it means that it will ignore case sensitive then is is in between like uh, greater than 17 and less than 23 and then limit it with result up to then sort it via sort it via name then select what you want to uh, select as the final output so I'm just going to select name and is so you can select multiple things like you can select uh, a standard as well by putting a standard here okay now execute So it will take two parameter function error and result so if it has error then throw as we are doing so many times and uh, console log result so let's see what output we are getting so here you can see it just selected i uh, name and is and id by default so if you want to select multiple uh, one more field like a standard then you just have to put a standard and colon one so this is called here this is called uh, json doc but we are just selecting um, document using J json doc so now select it via query builder so now comment this and write query uh, select this via uh, query builder so student dot find we are just going to find name of the student everything inside this and ignore the case now where 
we are just going to limit on the A's which is greater than greater than 17 and less than 23 so as you can see here we have just written in this format like is greater than 17 and less than uh, 23 so you can write via the, this one uh, in the query builder we, you can write via where command like if you put where functions so it will select uh, so this this uh, in my sql you just have written like uh, select a star from some document like doc where some condition so you can write this type of a structure in nosql also by putting where function and limit it uh, whatever you want then limit to then uh, sort as we have seen so then sort so if you want to sort by a name in ascending order so just you have to put name if you want to put in it in descending order so uh, to do that you just have to put minus means hyphen sign before the name so i'm just going to consider uh, descending order here and now select what you want to uh, as a final output so i'm going to select name and age so here you can see give uh, extra space then execute function error and doc so if it has an error then throw that error otherwise console log now let's run this code so as you can see we are getting the same output here we are getting same output so you can do it via the query builder and uh, document method so now moving to next point which is our query are not promises so to explain that now let's comment this Query are not promises. So to explain this, uh, uh, we can uh, we are going to write it uh, in the uh, then then method. So if you want to write, suppose you are creating a student uh, and uh, a student schema, right? if you write update many and something and then is deleted to true and some function and console log something update one and you are a storing it into one function uh, one variable like query and if you put q then so basically it will execute this one as well as this one also so here what we are doing is we are just writing update many in the uh, callback function by using callback function and we are just uh, executing it via then method also so it will execute both this one as well as this one okay so uh, we uh, means uh, we just have to avoid this means it is basically returning a promises and we are just going to uh, do that operation many times so we just have to avoid it next point is references to other document so we already have seen it uh, like 
references to other document we are going to uh, we just did it via population so basically mongoose or mongodb doesn't support uh, join like uh, inner join outer join any type of join it doesn't support any type of join so to reference to other document we just use uh, population mongoose populate now next point is a streaming so data streaming like let's comment this out and write population so we are just going to do it via mongoose cursor so write a cursor a student dot find name as a and write a cursor on our, on it now for let doc equal to await cursor dot next doc not equal to null doc equal to await cursor dot next okay so here we are just getting this one so remove this i don't think now console log log doc let's see what output we are getting comment this out so this will return a promises actually so we just have to pass then and it, it it is going to in in infinite loop because there are no ends because we are writing just next and next so that's why it is going in infinite loop okay so and this is the way you can write cursor now moving to next which is aggregation so just write a stool equal to await a student dot aggregate match name let's run this code so we are just getting a model of maths and something something so so uh, let's know the definition of aggregation aggregation can do, can do many operations of the same things that query can like uh, it can match with something like name so that's it for this video see you in the next